I'm Rabbi Harvey Bolofsky of the Golders Green United Synagogue. I've been asked today why it is that some people sell their chametz to a non-Jew before Pesach for the duration of the festival. The Torah forbids us to eat chametz during Pesach, but also to own it. So you'd assume that what the Torah actually wants us to do is to eat it up before Pesach, or give any chametz we can't eat away to a non-Jew. And ideally, and there are many people who do this, that is exactly how we should conduct ourselves. But the rabbis also recognise that they have a responsibility to make Jewish life easier and more observable. So while it might be ideal to get rid of the chametz altogether, for lots of us that's very difficult. We may have stockpiles of food, spirits worth a lot of money. And so for a very long time, the rabbis have allowed us to draw up a contract, one valid both in Jewish and English law, that sells the chametz to a non-Jew in a fully valid ceremony. That means for the duration of Pesach, the non-Jew owns the chametz even, it's in the, even though it remains in our home, and one does not transgress the Torah's prohibition. Of course, you're always at liberty to eat it up, perhaps give it away to a shelter or people who would like to use it, but it's absolutely permissible to sell it, and I'm sure your rabbi will be happy to arrange it for you.